Greetings, everybody. Happy Crimble. This is going to be a uh, Beatles and Elvis finds that I got recently. When I say recently, I mean it could be a while ago, actually. I don't even remember when I got them. It's been some time. But they've been here and haven't been in a video yet. A lot of this stuff has been sitting around for a long time, and it's time to put it in a video. Um, I'm going to do Elvis first and leave the Beatles at the end. I don't have that much uh, of either, but putting them together, I think, uh, makes it fun. I'm going to start a little Christmas music here. This is going to be uh, from Ringo Starr's Christmas album. Came out in 1999. I want to be Santa Claus. I'm going to put that in the background if you can hear it. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, to start with with Elvis, I got a bunch of Elvis 8-track tapes. Uh, sometime back in the, I guess the summer, I was at a flea market and uh, found a bunch of 8-tracks for a dollar a piece, so I bought them. You know, I don't have an 8-track player, but I buy these things just to, to have them and to have, like, you know, uh, collectible, the artwork. And uh, the person happened to have an Elvis bag, and the only reason I got this was because there was a way to carry this stuff. That worked out pretty good, huh? So, all the 8-tracks are in there. Let's go through them, shall we? Okay, uh... I'm going to start with this, Elvis at Madison Square Garden live, okay, then we have Elvis in concert from 77, this is a twin pack it says, um, contains, oh, contains the equivalent of two complete stereo records, so looks like it's one tape that has two records worth on it. Here's Elvis Blue Hawaii. Alrighty. Oh, I just I have I found a Beatles one. I guess I got a couple to put over for the Beatles. I forgot. Oh man. Okay. That works out good. Some of them are Beatles eight tracks. Here's uh Let's Be Friends, Elvis. I always like the way Elvis looks on that. Nice 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 photo of him. 69. I found another Beatles related one. Uh, here's uh, the Elvis collection. This came out, I think, in 74, 75, 73, 75, I don't know, 70s. So, uh, here's Elvis, I Got Lucky. Alrighty, and uh, another Beatles related one. I'm glad because this will beef up the Beatles a little bit more. Uh, here's the last Elvis 8-track, Elvis Country. You know, I like having them on 8-tracks. I'll play them someday when I find an 8-track player that works. Okay. Alright, so that was, that was good timing. Alright, now we got an interesting, uh, EP. Uh, this is, uh, Elvis... California Holiday, uh, that's actually uh, not the title of a movie. I think this came out to be uh, the movie Spin Out. And it was the original title of it there, California Holiday. This is Australian, it's an Australian uh, EP. On Orange RCA. It was a nice find. Um, now we have a couple of more 45 picture sleeves to show. Here's Elvis, uh, I Got Stung, and One Night, A and B side, really good. That's a good double A side for my money. Here's a really nice uh, quality copy. Of uh, the Don't single, or I Beg of You, whichever one you consider to be the A side. I'm not sure. In good shape. Um, I came across something here that was uh, an advertisement for an Elvis movie in a magazine, and it was laminated. This is, you can see, this is uh, taken from some 
magazine, see the lamination somebody did? Made a little poster out of it. It's an advertisement for Elvis's movie, uh, G.I. Blues. I think from 1960. And there's Juliet Prowse that he stars in. That was pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, the last Elvis item. Uh, I got this for free. It's a TV guide, but, you know, a newer TV guide. It wasn't a vintage 50s or anything. But this is one of the series that had a free little CD here. And uh, I haven't taken the CD off there, but you can play that. And uh, it's got uh, That's All Right on it. That's All Right, Mama. So that's what that is. All righty. Now, now we go to the Beatles. This is Beatles and solo Beatles. Maybe I should start by the 8-tracks, right? Along with that Elvis pile, I came across this, which is always the iconic artwork for A Hard Day's Night. So that's always nice. I, lo I love those images. Um, and then we have got a John Lennon. This is kind of beat up the, the uh, artwork. I'll look for it. For a dollar, it's okay, but I'll get it better eventually. This is Mind Games, a little trashed over there. Got the Mind Games 8-track. Uh, and uh, we got Ringo. The Ringo album. So uh, I need it. now i got to get an 8-track carrying case. One of those long black ones that I used to have in the earlier days when I collected 8-tracks as a kid. With the like a black alligator kind of look to this to the you know the casing. All right, uh, now here's a a 45 that's kind of rare. This is in really good shape though. This is a uh, this I don't know if this is Canadian. I always get mixed up with this. Um, this is Canadian, I think. It's uh, the, the green label swirl. Kansas City, Capital Starline label, Kansas City and Boys, which is nice. Okay, uh, finally got a hold of this uh, UK EP. It's the All My Loving EP. Uh, the next album I'm going to show is something that I've been looking for in decent condition. It's a pretty common title, but I don't always come across it in decent enough condition. This one was okay. I may get it again if it's cheaper than the shrink. It's uh, actually a tribute to Yoko Ono. It's called Every Man Has a Woman, and that's a, a song that John Lennon offers. All different artists are on this record doing songs, tributes to Yoko songs. People like John Lennon who does the title track. Uh, Harry Nielsen, Eddie Money, Roseanne Cash, Alternating Boxes, Roberta Flack, uh, Elvis Costello, uh, Spirit Choir, and Sean Ono Lennon. Sean does a, 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 a song here. Little Sean when he was small, because this album is 30 years old. This is 1984, so... Uh, next thing, I find if I start discussing as I'm putting away, it kind of makes the time go easier. Not only the next thing, but the last thing. I didn't know what this was. Uh, I picked it up because it was rare. Oh, I've never seen it. It's from the Virgin Megastore. It's a box set, as you can see, somewhere with a, the Virgin Megastore symbols up there. It's Paul McCartney's uh, Tripping the Life Fantastic CD box set. Uh, over here you have the... I'll take this off. Better if I show you that way. This is a clear casing that needs to be cleaned. It's kind of dirty. And you can see the image of Paul on there. Uh, kind of like covers when you put it on. The cover goes over this booklet of Paul. Superimposes it over there like that. Um, thought it was an interesting piece and it wasn't expensive. I got a pretty good good price. So on the side you get this booklet thing, which is this is always a great photo of Paul. 
course opens up like that. And inside you have the information. I guess pulled through the years. So, very cool. And I like the way that kind of, you know, sits in the tray there like that and you have the outer cover over it. Then you got the two CDs. This one here is uh, Tripping the Life Fantastic Highlights, which, you know, I don't think I have the highlights. I have the other one that's in here, which is the proper double disc version here. There you go. So, uh... And I got to tell you, as anybody watching my channel with any regularity knows, I'm not a fan of this particular album, Tripping a Life, Fantastic, or the highlights. Um, I'm just not, I don't think it was that great of a performance, so I'm not really thrilled with it. But, I mean, for collector's purposes, I love it. So I think that's pretty much it. Now, I, I'm planning to make this possibly the last video before Christmas. So again, I wish everybody a uh, happy Krimble, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, Happy Festivus for the rest of us, anything you celebrate. Uh, and um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes as far as when I'm going to do another video. Because uh, I also got another idea in my mind. You know what? I might do one more because if somebody requested a certain video. I might do the third one today and the last one for, for Christmas. Talk to you later. <laughs>